During COVID-19, property prices have been red hot. In this video, I wanted to go over the five reasons why the property market has been on fire. Number one, race for space. No, I'm not talking about Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos the race for space, but I'm talking about homeowners. Homeowners were and are engaged in a race for space. They want bigger homes to live in and work as well as garden space and easy to reach coasts and countrysides. The problem has been that these types of properties have been in short supply resulting in higher prices. Number two, stamp duty holiday. Stamp duty is a tax paid on property purchases. In July 2020, the government announced a cut to help buyers whose finances were affected by COVID. The main reason for the initiative was to stimulate the housing market as the country emerged from the first national COVID lockdown last summer. From the 1st of October 2021, rates have returned to pre-COVID levels. Number three low interest rate environment. Intense competition in the mortgage market has resulted in rates being driven down to new historic lows. Number four, low supply. The supply of properties coming onto the market remains low and that combined with ongoing buyer demand will no doubt hold up property prices. Number five, first time buyer initiatives. First time buyers do not have to pay any stamp duty on property purchase up to 300,000 pounds. High street lenders will also offering mortgages to borrowers with a deposit of just 5% under a government guarantee scheme which launched in April 2021. This has resulted in the following. House prices in the UK have generally been going up since the financial crisis. Property values were 10.2% higher than a year earlier. This has also resulted in the following. Buyers queuing overnight outside estate agents' doors. Buyers putting in offers on properties they've not even viewed. Estate agents not answering the phone due to the number of calls. Estate agents unlisting the property from Rightmove due to the level of inquiries. I went to view one property and the estate agent said to me, this one hasn't been sold, but it's no longer on Rightmove as we couldn't cope with the level of interest. And so we're only taking offers from those who have managed to view it. Offers going to best and finals. This has been a common occurrence which can be very frustrating as you never know what the lowest acceptable offer is. Saying that we could exchange and complete on the property relatively quickly because we were buying on a bridge suddenly added very little in terms of credibility. Owners were looking for the most amount of money as possible and this also meant that commission for estate agents due to higher selling prices. It could be argued that the first time buyers have found it even harder to get on the property ladder as prices have been increasing so much. A house we purchased in October 2020 for £265,000. Similar houses are now selling for in the region of £325,000. That's a massive 20 3% increase over one year. If you like this video, please smash that like button and hit subscribe so that you get notified when I release another video. Make sure you are subscribed as I will pick a subscriber at random and have a 10 minute call with you to see how I can help you on your property investing journey. Please check out my personal website, ravindaorgela.com, where I have lots of free videos on property investing and service accommodation. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye.